<laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Oh, celebrities. You wouldn't believe the skeletons in their closets. Some are even nastier than the villains they play on TV. Behind those camera-ready smiles, pure mischief. And trust us, you'd rather keep your distance. Out of the way! I can't see! There are cars there! Let's unveil 20 TV stars you'd really rather not bump into. Number 1. Tommy Lee Jones, the grumpy gatekeeper. Tommy Lee Jones, a genuine piece of Texas, is just as known for his I'm not here to play games attitude as he is for playing the tough and the law-holding dudes in movies. He grew up in Midland, Texas in a family that was like, let's split up. No, wait, let's get back together. Nope, let's split again. Actually, let's give it another shot. Basically, his family drama could be its own country song. Then, this guy goes from cowboy land straight to Harvard. After he got his fancy degree, Tommy didn't waste any time. He zoomed off to New York to start his acting gig, diving into everything from playing a doc in a daytime drama to being a cowboy in old school westerns. And bam, he even snagged an Emmy while he was at it. But here's the juicy part. Tommy Lee Jones is famously the grumpy cat of Hollywood. You know, the kind of guy who doesn't just roll his eyes at silly antics, but actually tells off Jim Carrey with a frosty, you're clowning, not on my watch, during their time in Batman Forever. Or the kind who gives a flight attendant the stink eye with a why are you staring at me vibe. No sugarcoating, no beating around the bush with this dude. Some might say he's a bit on the grouchy side, or maybe even rude. But hey, that's just Tommy being Tommy. And weirdly enough, it's kind of a daring if you squint a bit. Number 2, Jonah Hill, the sensitive comedian. Jonah Hill has done a wild ride from dreaming up the Simpsons scripts to becoming a major player in Hollywood, with a storyline that's got more twists than his comedies. Born into Hollywood royalty in LA, Jonah had the ultimate backstage pass to the acting world, thanks to his parents' connections and a little help from his friend Dustin Hoffman's son. This connection catapulted him straight into his first movie role, skipping the usual actor grind. Jonah quickly became the go-to funny guy, nailing it in comedy roles, but not stopping there. Driven by ambition, he pushed for serious roles, proving he's got the chops for more than just laughs. Off screen, Jonah's life is just as colorful and a bit controversial, from prank calls with Dustin Hoffman to making a swift exit from Adam Levine's wedding after playing efficient. His actions sometimes turn heads, showing a side of him that doesn't always fit the polished Hollywood image. Number 3, Cameron Diaz. Hollywood's Ice Queen. So, Cameron Diaz, right? She's this girl from San Diego who totally rocked it all the way to Hollywood fame. Imagine starting with zero acting gigs and then boom, at 21 she's in The Mask, making everyone go wow. Cameron didn't just stop there. She kept nailing it in movies like There's Something About Mary and voicing over in Shrek, proving she's not just funny, but can pretty much handle anything thrown at her. By 2018, she's one of the top money makers in Hollywood. Pretty cool, huh? But not everything's been smooth sailing. Despite being a total charmer on screen, some folks say she's not the same in real life, like not signing autographs or being a bit chilly. There's even a story about a kid getting kicked out by her security, which got people talking about her being maybe a bit tough on fans, especially the younger ones. It's a bit of a twist from the award-winning, globe-trotting celeb we see on the red carpet nabbing nominations for big deals like the Golden Globes and even a British Academy Film Award. Number 4, Ellen DeGeneres, the Queen of Mean. Ellen DeGeneres was like the queen of daytime TV, dancing around, spreading the love and good vibes on her show since 2003. She even bagged a ton of daytime Emmys, like 61 wins out of 171 nominations, which is pretty wild. But then, 2020 came along, and whoa, things got a bit rocky. Some serious talk came out about her show being a tough place to work, with some really not-so-nice stuff going on behind the scenes, including some pretty bad behavior by producers. Ellen wasn't called out for bullying herself, but all this drama definitely shook up how people saw her and her show. Like, they eventually lost over a million viewers in just a year. Ellen's been in hot water for other stuff, too. Things that made folks side-eye her be kind motto. Like hanging out with former president George W. Bush, who wasn't exactly a poster boy for LGBTQ rights or peace, 
got some heat in 2019. And then, during the lockdown, she joked about her massive mansion feeling like jail, which didn't really sit well with a lot of people. Plus, there were these moments where she kind of came off as not the nicest to her guests, and even a security guard at the Oscars one time said she was pretty demeaning. Number 5. William Shatner. The Final Frontier of Ego. William Shatner, aka Captain Kirk, has had quite the ride. He's got a big personality, kind of like the huge space adventures he had on TV. Some folks he worked with say he's pretty intense, sometimes bumping heads with others on the set. Before he was zipping through space, Shatner was just a guy from Montreal, getting his acting chops up in Canada. Then he landed the Kirk role in the US, and boom, he was a star. But it wasn't always smooth sailing, especially with some of his co-stars like George Takai. Those two have been throwing shade at each other for ages, mostly over Shatner loving the spotlight a bit too much. On the personal side, Shatner's life has had his ups and downs too. He's been married a bunch of times and had some real heartache, like losing his third wife, Noreen, which hit him hard. It shows there's more to him than just the confident captain we saw on screen. Number 6, Christina Aguilera, The Divas Pitch Christina Aguilera? Yeah, she's got pipes that hit notes higher than your last phone bill. But, there's been chatter about her kinda demanding when she's not on stage, plus some beef with other singers. She's been called the voice of a generation, and honestly, she's lived up to the hype. Starting off in the Mickey Mouse Club, and then smashing the charts with bangers like Genie in a Bottle, Christina's been all about big tunes and even bigger messages, like standing up for yourself and owning your identity. She's grabbed Grammys and a bunch of other awards, all while belting out songs about real stuff like growing up with domestic abuse. Number 7, Charlie Sheen, A Tiger's Tale. Oh boy. Where do you even start when we talk about Charlie Sheen? It's like he's living in a reality show that's a mix of every wild drama you can think of. Once upon a time, Charlie was the dude everyone knew from massive movies like Platoon and Wall Street. And then he hit jackpot fame with Two and a Half Men. But then, it's like he hit the self-destruct button big time. So picture this. Back in 98, Charlie had such a bad night with cocaine he ended up in the ER. And his dad's out here acting like it's no biggie saying Charlie's just chilling, eating, and chatting. That was just the start, though. Rehab became like a second home for him, with Charlie swinging in and out, but never really sticking the landing on staying clean. And his love life? Absolute mayhem. He and Denise Richards were hot news until their split turned into a full-on drama fest in 2006, complete with a messy custody fight. Then, Christmas 2009, Charlie gets nabbed for domestic violence in Aspen. Definitely not the holiday cheer anyone wants. 2010 wasn't any quieter for Charlie. He kicked it off with a just-in-case rehab stint, owned up to some legal stuff from the Aspen incident, and wrapped up the year by wrecking a hotel room while totally smashed. Then, 2011 starts with him in the hospital again, which was becoming a bit of a bad habit for him. Through all the mess, Charlie somehow turned his whole meltdown into a weird kind of fame, throwing around phrases like, winning, and talking about tiger blood. Honestly, you can't make this stuff up. Number 8, Shia LaBeouf, Method to the Madness. Shia LaBeouf's life story is a wild ride, a mix of Hollywood success and headline-making scandals that could easily be its own blockbuster drama. Starting as a kiddo with humble beginnings, he hit the big time with Disney's Even Stevens, snagging a daytime Emmy and catching the eye of none other than Steven Spielberg. Spielberg helped catapult him into the big leagues with roles in Transformers and Indiana Jones, where LaBeouf went from child star to major Hollywood player. But here's where the plot thickens. Shy's dedication to his craft took some intense turns, like literally cutting his face and yanking out a tooth for the war movie Fury just to keep things real. Yet, it wasn't all avant-garde art and movie premieres. LaBeouf found himself in a series of legal and personal tussles, including a very public and very mess up with FKA Twigs, who sued him, alleging all sorts of nasty stuff from emotional to physical abuse. Number 9, Julia Roberts, America's Smile, Hollywood's Frown. Julia Roberts, the lady with the megawatt smile, sure has had her share of off-screen drama that could rival any soap opera. It's like looking at a glittery onion, 
all sparkly on the outside, but full of surprises once you start digging in. First up, Julia's romantic life has been a roller coaster. Remember when she was about to marry Kiefer Sutherland? She ditched him so fast, running off to Ireland with his pal Jason Patrick. Talk about a wild plot twist. And then there's her whirlwind romance with Lyle Lovett. They tied the knot super quickly and split just as fast. Imagine breaking up before people even had time to figure out who Lyle Lovett was. The timing was as awkward as socks with sandals. She was in London. He was in the U.S. recovering from a motorcycle crash. And just like that, they were done. Julia also knows how to throw shade with style. She was once seen wearing a t-shirt that read Alo Vera during the early days with Danny Motor, who was still married then. If that's not sending a message without uttering a word, I don't know what is. Let's not forget the Tinker Hell nickname. During the filming of Hook where Julia played Tinkerbell, Spielberg reportedly had a tough time with her. Julia says the bad press was all made up, but the nickname stuck like gum on a shoe. Julia's drama didn't end with almost being a real-life runaway bride. She even caused a stir by reportedly skipping out on her half-sister's wedding. Rumor has it, she wasn't a fan of the groom and was worried about the wedding bill. Tragically, her sister passed away before she could get married. Number 10, Jennifer Lawrence, America's Reluctant Sweetheart. Jennifer Lawrence really knows her way around a movie set. She started turning heads with Winter Bones and then blew up big time playing Mystique in X-Men and Katniss in The Hunger Games. At just 22, she grabbed an Oscar for Silver Linings Playbook and she didn't stop there. You've probably seen her in American Hustle and Joy too. After chilling for a bit, she came back strong in movies like Don't Look Up and No Hard Feelings. Besides acting, she's big on speaking her mind about women's rights and stuff. J-Law got famous not just for her acting skills, but also for being super relatable. But there's been some chatter about her being a bit short with fans and the press, which has some folks wondering if she's really the girl next door she seems to be. Number 11, Christian Bale, the intensity behind the mask. Christian Bale is pretty awesome at changing his look for different movie roles. He started acting when he was just a kid and really made a splash in a Spielberg movie called Empire of the Sun when he was 13. He's been in some cool stuff since then, like playing a creepy guy in American Psycho and losing a ton of weight for The Machinist. He's super famous for being Batman in the movies directed by Christopher Nolan, starting with Batman Begins. That role was a big deal for him. He also won some big awards for playing a boxer in The Fighter. Bale kept showing off his acting chops in movies like American Hustle, The Big Short, and Vice, getting more awards and nominations along the way. There's also this infamous moment where he went off on someone while filming Terminator Salvation, which got a lot of people talking about how intense he can be. Number 12, Reese Witherspoon, Southern Charm, Sharp Edges. Reese Witherspoon is a big deal in Hollywood, rocking it as an actress, producer, and business lady for over 30 years. She's won a bunch of awards, like an Oscar, an Emmy, and a couple of Golden Globes. Reese first caught everyone's eye in movies like Cruel Intentions and Election. She became super popular as Elle Woods in Legally Blonde and its sequel, and also in Sweet Home Alabama. Her role as June Carter Cash in Walk the Line even snagged her an Oscar for Best Actress. There was a bit when her career seemed to slow down, but she bounced back big time with the movie Wild, which got her another Oscar nod. Reese had a bit of a rough patch in 2013 when she got into trouble with the law. She and her husband, Jim Toth, were in a sticky situation where he was pulled over for DUI in Atlanta, and she didn't help matters by getting out of the car and pulling the Do You Know Who I Am card with police. She ended up apologizing later, saying she was super embarrassed by the whole thing. Number 13, Zoe De Chanel, The Quirky Queen's Realm. Zoe De Chanel, the cool chick from movies like Elf and 500 Days of Summer, and the funny show New Girl has decided to chill from acting for a bit. She's been in the acting game since she was a teenager, and after a ton of work, especially with her big role on New Girl where she did a bit of everything for seven seasons, she's taking a break. Zoe's always had this quirky and fun vibe that fans love, but there's some buzz that she's not the easiest person to work with on set, which is kind of surprising compared to how she seems on screen. Number 14, Chevy Chase, Comedy's Caustic Side. 
Chevy Chase's journey to fame is all about his knack for comedy. Growing up in a family with a pretty interesting background, Chevy always had a thing for making people laugh and wasn't much for following the rules. This vibe totally shaped his funny style. He really got into comedy in college, and then, by a stroke of luck, bumped into Lorne Michaels in a movie line. This chance meeting got him a gig writing and performing on Saturday Night Live. Chevy Chase is a comedy legend no doubt, but he's also known for being a bit tough to work with. Despite being super funny on SNL and becoming a big name fast, he had his fair share of drama. He could have been the next Johnny Carson, but ended up leaving SNL, which he kind of wishes he hadn't. His time on the show Community was also a bit rocky, with some controversy over things he said, leading to a public apology for using racially insensitive language. Number 15, John Wayne. The Duke's Dueling Image. John Wayne, who was born in Iowa in 1907, became a massive star in Hollywood, especially known for his roles in westerns and war movies. His journey to fame wasn't a straight line, though. After losing his football scholarship because of a body surfing mishap, he ended up working at Fox Film Corporation. This job kick-started his acting career, which lasted more than 50 years and had him starring in a bunch of classic American films. But John Wayne's story isn't all smooth sailing. There's been some talk about how he didn't serve in the military during World War II, which raises eyebrows considering the tough guy roles he's played. Also, his personal political views and some of the stuff he said have made people rethink his legacy. Number 16, Katherine Heigl, The Cost of Speaking Out Katherine Heigl's journey to success began at a young age. Transitioning from child modeling with Wilhelmina models to acting, making her film debut in That Night, Heigl's breakthrough came with her role as Dr. Izzy Stevens on Grey's Anatomy, for which she won a Primetime Emmy Award in 2007. Heigl's career has also been marked by controversy, primarily surrounding her departure from Grey's Anatomy. Heigl's outspokenness about the roles and projects she's been involved with has sparked controversy, leading to a reputation for being difficult. After expressing dissatisfaction with her character's storyline and later withdrawing her name from Emmy consideration in 2008, claiming she had not been given material that warranted an Emmy nomination, her relationship with the show's creators and the media became strained. Number 17, Gwyneth Paltrow, The Wellness Warrior's Woes Gwyneth Paltrow's rise in the acting world was significantly shaped by her family's involvement in the arts leading her to early stage roles and eventually to significant parts in movies like Hook and Emma. Her portrayal in Shakespeare in Love earned her an Academy Award, marking a high point in her acting career. Despite her acclaimed acting career, Paltrow has faced her share of controversy, particularly surrounding her wellness and lifestyle brand Goop. Founded in 2008, Goop has been both celebrated for its innovative approach to wellness and lifestyle and criticized for promoting practices considered by some as pseudoscience. Number 18, Patrick Dempsey, McDreamy or McNightmare? Patrick Dempsey, who you probably know as McDreamy from Grey's Anatomy, actually started out in movies like Can't Buy Me Love before he landed the gig that would make him a household name. But acting isn't his only thing. He's also super into race car driving. Yeah, the guy races cars for real and has even competed in big deals like the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Now, onto the drama. When Patrick left Grey's Anatomy, it was a huge deal. There were whispers all over that he was acting like a diva on set, which made things tough for everyone else. Some folks said this attitude of his was part of why they decided to say goodbye to Dr. Derek Shepard. Fans were pretty bummed and surprised to hear that McDreamy might have been causing some behind-the-scenes drama. Number 19, Kirstie Alley, The Battle Beyond the Screen Kirstie Alley wasn't always the big name we know today. Nope, she was just another actress trying to make it in the big, flashy world of Hollywood. But then, boom! She landed a role in Cheers, and suddenly, everyone knew her name. It's like she went from being, who's that, to, oh, that's Kirstie Alley, overnight. And let me tell you, Cheers wasn't just any show. It was the show that had everyone glued to their TVs, laughing their socks off. Now let's get to the juicy part. Kirstie Alley wasn't just one to sit back and enjoy your fame. She had opinions. Strong ones. And when it came to Scientology, she wasn't shy about sharing her love for it. Yup, Kirstie was all in. 
supporting Scientology like it was the next big blockbuster. This, as you can imagine, stirred up quite the pot of controversy. Some folks were intrigued, wanting to know more about her beliefs and how they shaped her as an actress and a person. Others, not so much. They were ready to cancel their Kirstie Alley fan club membership faster than you can say, look who's talking now. Number 20. Charles Chaplin. Scandal, Politics, and Exile. Charlie Chaplin's story is like something out of a movie. From a tough start in London, battling poverty and family struggles, to becoming a massive movie star. Born in 1889, he hit this stage young, finding his way from music halls to the big screen in the U.S., where he created The Tramp, his most famous character. By 1918, everyone knew who he was, and he even helped start United Artists in 1919 to keep control over his movies. But Chaplin's life wasn't all laughs and applause. The 1940s hit him hard with some saying he was too cozy with communists and others gossiping about his personal life like court battles and marrying much younger women. These scandals, plus his stand against changing his movie style for sound films and his political views, made him less popular. The FBI got involved and Chaplin ended up moving to Switzerland. Alright, that wraps up our dive into the not-so-sweet side of celeb life. Shocked? Intrigued? Hit that like button if we surprised you, and don't forget to subscribe for more behind-the-scenes secrets. Got opinions? Drop them in the comments below. Until next time, keep questioning those glossy public images.